Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the example 4 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the examples 1 to 3 problems from exercise 3.1. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly let us begin with the video. Example 4 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables says, check graphically whether the pair of equations x plus 3y is equal to 6 and 2x minus 3y equal to 12 is consistent. If so, solve them graphically. So here they have given us two pair of linear equations and we have to check whether these are consistent or not. If they are consistent, then we have to solve them graphically. So what does this word consistent mean? If you have watched my previous video, that is the introduction part, I have explained you in detail this table. So basically the general form of the linear pair of equations is given by a1x plus b1y plus c equal to 0. And the second linear equation is a2x plus b2y plus this is c1, c2 is equal to 0. So here a1, a2, b1, b2 and c1 and c2 are the coefficients in these two pair of linear equations. So to determine whether these two equations are consistent or not, consistent means they should have one or more number of solutions. Okay, if they have one solution, then it is called as a unique solution. In that case, the lines will be intersecting at one point. Okay, and if the lines on the graph obtained by these two equations are coincident or overlapping, then we obtain infinite number of solutions. So when the lines are intersecting or coincident, then we can say that the two equations are consistent. So to find out that, we have to compare the coefficients of these two equations. Here if you look in the table, if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, then we can say that the lines are intersecting, they have unique one solution and they are consistent. Similarly, when the ratios a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that is equal to c1 by c2, then we can say that the lines are coincident and have infinite number of solutions and hence they are also consistent. So these are the two categories of equations when they are consistent. They can be intersecting lines and coincident lines. And if the lines are not consistent, that means they are parallel. In that case, the ratios a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that will not be equal to c1 by c2. So let us check these three conditions and find out whether lines are intersecting, coincident or they are parallel. So here the given equations are x plus 3y is equal to 6. So this can be rewritten as x plus 3y. Sending the 6 to the left hand side we get minus 6 is equal to 0. This is the first equation. And the second equation given is 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. Again sending the 12 to left hand side we obtain 2x minus 3y minus 12 equal to 0. 0. So this is the equation number 2. So from equation 1 and 2, let us find out the a1, a2, b1, b2 and c1, c2 value. So a1 value will be from first equation, the coefficient of x is 1. Similarly, the coefficient of y, b1 is equal to 3 and the c1 constant is equal to minus 6. Similarly, let us find out the coefficients from the second equation that is a2, it is 2 b2 is equal to minus 3 and c2 is equal to minus 12. So now let us compare the ratios. So here let us find out whether the lines are intersecting and has a unique solution to be consistent or not. So for that the first condition here is a1 by a2 should not be equal to b1 by b2. Right. So let us find out what is a1 value. It is 1 and a2 is 2. So it is 1 by 2 and what is b1 by b2? b1 is 3 divided by b2 value is again minus 3. So this is a1 by a2 and this is b1 by b2. Here 3 and 3 will get cancelled and we will be just left with a minus sign. Right, so b1 by b2 is equal to minus 1. Here we can observe that a1 by a2 is, is not equal to b1 by b2. So therefore we can say that the lines are intersecting since the ratios 
a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 therefore we can say that the two e given equations are consistent right so let us write down that here since a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 therefore we can say that the pair of equations given are consistent so since the equations are consistent so let us solve them graphically so from equation 1 we can write the equation 1 is x plus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0 so here let us find out the x value by sending all the other terms to right hand side so we get x is equal to sending 3y to right hand side we get minus 3y and minus 6 will become plus 6 so now let us substitute the y value and find out the x value so here let us substitute the y value let y equal to 0 therefore x will be equal to minus 3 into 0 plus 6 so here x value will be equal to 6 similarly let us take y equal to 1 so x is equal to minus 3 into 1 plus 6 so this is minus 3 plus 6 that will be equal to plus 3 so let us draw the table for this equation now so we have x and y so when y equal to 0 we have x equal to 6 similarly when y is equal to 1 x is equal to 3 so similarly let us again obtain the table from equation 2 so equation 2 is given by 2x minus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 so again let us find out the x value here so 2x is equal to sending all the other terms to right hand side we get 3y plus 12 or x will be equal to 3y plus 12 divided by 2 so again here let us substitute y equal to 0 so x will be equal to 3 into 0 plus 12 divided by 2 so this will be 12 divided by 2 that is equal to 6 similarly let us take y is equal to 1 so x is equal to 3 into 1 plus 12 divided by 2 so here 3 into 1 is 3 plus 12 divided by 2 so 3 plus 12 is 15 so what is 15 divided by 2 so that will be 2 1 times 2 7s are 14 so 1 will be left if you add a point so 0 will be added so you get 2 5s are 10 so let me divide and show you here how it comes so here you have 15 if you divide it by 2 2 7s are 14 so 1 is a remainder so when you add a point here to quotient we can add a 0 here so 2 5s are 10 so 0 comes down so this is how we get 7.5 value of x so again let us draw the table x and y for y equal to 0 x value is 6 again for y equal to 1 x value is 7.5 so now here we have obtained the table so let us plot the graph so now let us plot the graph on x axis and y axis so this is the table obtained from the equation 1 so let us plot here at x equal to 6 we have y equal to 0 so we obtain a point here let us name this point as 1 at x equal to 6 and y equal to 0 similarly the next point is at x equal to 3 we have y equal to 1 so we obtain a point here let us name this point as b at x equal to 3 and y equal to 1 draw a line intersecting these two points so this line represents the equation x plus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0 similarly let us plot graph for the second equation so this is the table at x equal to 6 we have y equal to 0 so again that point values are same so we obtain the same point here that is at x equal to 6 y equal to 0 so let us mark this point as p 6 comma 0 the second point is at x equal to 7.5 y equal to 1 so here we have 7 and 8 and in between we obtain 7.5 and on y axis it is 1 so we obtain a point here let us mark this point as q at x equal to 7.5 y equal to 1 let us draw a line here representing the second equation that is 2x minus 3y 
minus 12 is equal to 0. So here we observe that there is an intersection or a common point for both the lines at x equal to 6 and y equal to 0. So here the lines are intersecting and at the point of intersection we obtain a solution for the given two equation and hence we can say that the lines are consistent since we obtain the solution. So hence we can say that there is a common point 6 comma 0 which forms the solutions for the given two pair of linear equation. So write down at the end of your answer therefore common point 6 comma 0 forms a unique solution for the given consistent pair of linear equation x plus 3y minus 6 and 2x minus 3y minus 12 equal to 0. So this is how we solve this example number one. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving example six from chapter three, pair of linear equations and two variables. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC NCERT math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter three shown on the screen. Thank you.